Hello everyone, welcome to the next session of finite element analysis. I'm solving question 5 of direct application of EME. Solve for complete analysis. This is the step bar given to me. The dimensions are also given and so is the loading. And the value of E is given as 210 gigapascal for the bar material. Which means all these bars are made of same material. Now I will start with marking of the elements. You can see over here. This is one element, but I will consider this as two because I am supposed to consider a node at this point as there is a sudden loading at this point. So I will say that there is a node here. Obviously, there should be a node here, and these are the two endpoints. So two nodes. So one, two, three, four. Now, element marking should be at the start, but looking at this question. I am marking the elements now. So this is my first element, second element and third element. I will also quickly calculate this 210 giga Pascal is going to be 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. Now I will start with the solution. Step 1 is discretization. I will be drawing my elements. So element 1. 2 and 3. Element 1 is between node 1 and 2. 2 is between node 2 and 3. And third element is between node 3 and 4. So there are 4 nodes over here. Next I will go for step 2. That is development of EME. As in the previous question, the EME is AE upon HE. 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 u1 u2 raised to e is equal to p1 p2 raised to e. I'll start for element 1. The area will be pi by 4 d square. The value of e is same that is 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 and h1 is 150. 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 and I have u1 u2 raised to 1 is equal to p1 p2 raised to 1. Capital D is given as 60 mm. When I solve this, I get the value as 10 raised to 3 common 3958.4. I'll multiply inside with all the terms. And here I will have the rest two primary and secondary variables same. Now element 1 is between node 1, 2. So I will mark the elements here. Next I will go for element 2. Area will be pi by 4 capital D square again. You need to understand that in this question this is the same diameter given. Only because of the sudden loading I have marked a different element. So I am going to use same pi by 4 capital D square into E is 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 and length is given as 50. 1 minus 1 minus 1 1. I will have u1 u2 raised to 2 is equal to p1 p2 raised to 2. On solving this I get a 10 raised to 3 outside and the number which I have to multiply inside is 11875.08. Element 2 is between node 2, 3. Next, I will solve for element 3. It will be pi by 4 small d square into 2.1 into 10 raised to 5. And the length is given as 150. On solving this, I get a 10 raised to 3 outside 
element 3 is between node 3, 4. Now I'll go for the third step which is development of GME. Since the maximum number of nodes are 4, hence I'll have a 4x4 four four matrix here. I'll take 10 raised to 3 common. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Here I'll have U1, U2, U3, U4 is equal to P1, P2, P3, P4. Now for element 1, the value is between 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 9, 5, 8, point 4. So I'll place here. Next for element 2, it is between node 2, 3, 2, 3. The value is plus 11875.08 minus 11875.08 minus 11875.08. And last element is between 3434. 4, 3, 4. So I'll add here 1759.291. Minus 1759.291. These values will be 0. Next, I'll go for step 4 that is applying of boundary conditions. The variables are u1, u2, u3, u4, and I have p1, p2, p3. P4. When I look at the diagram, node 1 is fixed, so no displacement. I will write the justification. Node 1 is fixed. Next, U2, U3, U4, they will all have some displacements. Now, since this is 0, P1 is going to be question mark. The value of P4 is given as 15 into 10 raised to 3. Newton, so this should be question mark. P2 is also given as 20 into 10 raised to 3 Newton, so this is question mark. Now, this cannot be question mark and this will be 0, it is not possible. As I have told you, P3 should be 0, which is called as balancing of secondary variable. So, this will be a question mark. Now, I will be substituting these boundary conditions in this equation. I have U1 as 0. Since this is 0, first row, first column can be neglected for some time. I will be writing all these terms, calculating the value of u2, u3, u4. Then I will revisit this equation, calculate the value of p1. So I have a 10 raised to 3 common. After addition, I get 15833.48. Here I have u2, u3, u4 is equal to 20, 0, 15 and I have a 10 raised to 3 common. This 10 raised to 3 will get cancelled from both the sides. Now I will multiply and write 3 equations here.
on solving these three equations i get the value of u2 as 0.00884 mm u3 as 0.0101 mm and u4 as 0.0186 mm now when i get back to this equation this is zero only this term of u2 will be existing so i will have 10 raised to 3 minus 3958.4 u2 is equal to p1 into 10 raised to 3 it gets cancelled from both the side i get the value of p1 as minus 34.9 kilo newton next i'll go for check summation of force in x direction is equal to 0 p1 plus p2 plus p3 plus p4 is equal to i get this value as 0 0.1 kilo newton which is approximately equal to 0 hence checked next i'll go for stress calculations the equation is sigma e is equal to e upon h e minus 1 1 u1 u2 raised to e for element 1 sigma 1 will be e upon h1 minus 1 1 this is between node u1 u2 when i substitute i get the answer as 12.376 newton per mm square it is positive so it is tensile for element 2, sigma 2 will again be E upon H2 minus 1, 1 between U2 and U3. When you solve this, you will get the answer as 5.292 Newton per mm square. This is also tensile. And for element 3, Sigma 3 is E upon H3 minus 1, 1 between U3 and U4. You will get the answer as 11.9 Newton per mm square. This body was completely subjected to tensile type of load. Hence, all the values of stresses are positive. So, with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood the numerical. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. See you in the next session. Thank you. Mm -hmm.